Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show, Crypto Express, where it's my goal to keep you up to date with what is going on in the crypto market so you can act fast and you can make as much money as possible this bull run because it is here. Despite Bitcoin's recent correction, it, at the time of this video, it's corrected from 69,000 down to 65,000. Many people are scared. I'm just here to tell you it's normal. Bitcoin had tested new all-time highs. It's normal for people to take profits. So nobody be scared, but don't go open some longs either. I would just stay away for a second because we're breaking through right now. It's very normal. You just need to hang tight. This is normal. But okay, in today's video, we're going to jump into Ethereum's ETF update. We're going to jump in and review where Bitcoin's at. We're going to take a look at meme coins and we're going to re-examine the whole perspective of where we should put our money in as a sequel to yesterday's video, which was on how OGs invest and how we should go into this market. But okay, let us get started. Let me share my screen with you. So as you can see, this is Bitcoin's price at the time of this video, 65,000. Just hang tight, it is gonna break out, but this is, as I was saying, this is just what breaking out looks like. Next, we have news today that the SEC delays the decision for BlackRock's spot ETF, which some would say is a good thing because we just had Bitcoin's ETFs approved and the general market or all the investors that invest through financial institutions like BlackRock may then want to start investing in Ethereum and this kind of defeats the purpose and the general flow of investment from Bitcoin into altcoins or whatever's pumping at the time, like the DGen play, like WIF, like Pepe, um, which are all pumping right now. I don't think that's the case, but nevertheless, this is the update. So that is the Ethereum update. Keeping in mind also that we have the Denkun update uh, upgrade coming, which is supposed to reduce fees up to 90%, but we will see. So regardless, there's still some bullish news coming for Ethereum. So Ethereum should still be pumping. And that is what we see here from Evans. He says, I expect E to two to three X over the next three to six months, to be honest. Call me delusional. I felt the same in the 1900s. Here we go. That said, I would not be buying bags of ETH. ETH will do multiples as Evans is saying here, but if you're trying to grow your portfolio, putting your money into where the money's going, which is what we do on this channel, like meme coins with caution and not with all your money, as I stressed in yesterday's video, and putting your money into all coins that will pump and that have large communities, that is what will make your money grow faster. And then of course you wanna roll some of that money into long-term investments. Shifting gears into what is so exciting right now, but today was WIF's listing on Binance. Thankfully, I closed my long position in time as well, because what tends to happen is when there's big news, everyone gets excited, everyone starts to buy in because they know the price is gonna pump, but as they're doing that, they make the price pump. And then what happens, everyone takes profits like people did today with Bitcoin, and then the price crashes for a little bit, it's just volatile for some time. So thankfully, I closed out my long position and I did quite well. Very, very excited about that. But as we will see today, and this is the most bullish sign, which leads me into a video I want to share with you on another OG's perspective of where we should be putting our money this bull run. Because as I mentioned in yesterday's video, Ran Nooner from Crypto Banter was saying that he was just stressing that mean coins are not real investments and was kind of surprised that that's where retail is putting their money and kind of like, you know, waving his red flag for caution, you know, trying to protect new investors from getting wrecked, which I, I think is a good thing. But at the same time, you will hear from this other OG in a moment and his perspective is that this is how money is made during bull runs because the primary people that move a bull run that are the liquidity that are the market in the bull run are retail they are the, the new speculative again investors and they don't understand you know like these complicated layer ones layer twos it's complicated 
No, I come from infrastructure, so from like an actual studio that builds crypto projects. So I happen to understand because this is what I did. And you know, I'm always in these conversations, but the general public, they don't. And that said, there are these two different opinions in the market right now. And this news from Bloomberg really paints an interesting picture and validates this crypto OG's opinion on where money is really going to be made for rent and that institutions may actually be the ones to be front running us. So to get in on these opportunities before we can. And that's what this Bloomberg, Bloomberg article basically is a sign of, you know, this Bloomberg article mentioned with Dog with Hat and Pepe. Um, and that is such a sign. I mean, can you imagine Bloomberg doing this? It's like if there's ever been such a bullish sign, this is it. They even use these nuts. Super funny. So I'm going to go ahead and play the clip from this OG Kyle Chasse and his opinion because he's been through, man, I don't even know, four bull runs. So if there's anyone that has been in crypto the longest <laughs> or as long, almost as long as anybody, I think I've met two people that have been in the market before Kyle Chasse. He's been in the crypto market since 2012, actively investing and advising. And this is his perspective on where real money is made during these bull runs. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video. But Rand says here by saying there are literally people rich enough and dumb enough to convince themselves that holding a dog with a hat is an investment. Memes are an amazing trade, but remember to take profits, kids, and put them into protocols that will make a difference in five years. Now, I'm a little bit surprised Rand said this because as Rand says on his show, they're going to try, he's going to try to sell toward the top or on the way up to the top. So Rand, I'm asking you this, why do you care? Why would you put, why would you rotate the value out of the meme coin, which as long as re, like retail is the most irrational right before the crash of everything. So when do you think that the, the, the rotation out of memes is going to come into the more sophisticated protocols that probably won't have real world adoption this bull run anyway because like really nothing does so i was a little bit surprised on this statement and i would a little bit have to disagree here of course we're gonna have to see how things play out but there's been like the most stories about retail are gonna be people who bought some shit coin meme and did a million x and they got rich it's not gonna be kids who got into you know aptos private sale along with like a16z and did a thousand like no that doesn't happen so everyone else out there is going to hear that their friends got rich from meme coins, not from A16Z, not from Aptos, not from Sui. Like, no, that's VC money. And the institutions and smart retail and Wall, Wall Street, they know this. And so why don't they front run the retail by investing in memes themselves, which we see that they are. Anyway, guys, that's interesting, huh? And that's the sign I see through this news with Bloomberg. Bloomberg, remember that news and media are owned and many times receive money. They're owned by the most powerful families that both fund and lobby the government and fund and many times make media agencies represent the news that and the narrative that they want pushed out to the mass public that makes the mass public buy in or sell certain behaviors that affect their stocks. So it's all connected. I know that was a little complicated, but so keeping in mind of who owns Bloomberg and where Bloomberg is most likely getting a lot of their funding, for them, they can't just go ahead and publish on anything. Everything's approved. So the fact that Bloomberg would even mention Whiff and Pepe, that comes as a sign off from above. So very likely that some of the top families that have a voice in the SEC and on top are now aware of the power of meme coins, like Kyle was, was saying, and pushing. Now they're going to be pushing the narrative. They're going to want to make it more popular so more people can buy it, you know, which really just tells us to be more careful when the price pumps really hard for Whiff and Pepe because we know that big people are now involved and they're going to very likely want to take some profits faster and more aggressively. So just like those are the dots you have to connect. So that said, 
this just validates it, right? It's this really funny tweet from Ansem and he's like, bro, I don't know. It's doing the most on-chain volume out of every single altcoin besides literally ETH, Sol, BNB, and Staples. It's crazy. Dog with hat, right? To emphasize, I believe dog with hat could very likely be the next Pepe. Pepe, like dog with hat has a long way to go. And like I said, it listed today. I will personally be buying some more. And then here's some more validating news from- of the meme coin is me. It's looking like it's gonna close in the green. I do wanna talk about something we just chatted about on radio, guys. Uh, the era of the meme coin is back. Can you believe that? No, I don't. Uh, there's a- Tell there's me a, more, Tim. Okay, there's Pepe, <laughs> oh, the, Pepe the Frog themed coin. Okay. And, and Dog with <laughs> Hat? This is new to me. I'm just learning this from Among the Most Red, Mu Yao Shen. I think this is all just the to say, no, pushing pushing the narrative. Pe it is certainly back. Okay. Is, that, is that where we're at? Is, is this like the contrarian sell signal this, now? That's what I'm thinking. This is like, there's a sentiment. In you see, there's a sentiment in it. Same thing here. This made it into Bloomberg. Trust me, nothing, I'm, I come from a marketing background. Nothing gets published unless it's approved by the owners, right? Obviously. So this tells me that some serious money and there's some serious institutional buy-in into new coins. So they're, they're going to be pumping memes. So I would agree with Kyle. And here's some more news on Ondo. Remember I covered Ondo yesterday, which pretty much validates what Larry Fink was calling for, which is for the tokenization of assets. So it says, Larry Fink does not just want a BTC and an ETH ETF. His ultimate vision is the tokenization of all financial assets, which he has made clear on a number of occasions. Ondo announced Ondo Global Markets just days ago, which enables the tokenization of all securities in a responsible manner using prime brokerage. In addition to this, they have backing from Coinbase and Peter Thiel's Founders Fund. Future crypto is merging, is the merging, this is what's so important here, of DeFi and TradFi worlds or traditional finance. This is abundantly clear to anyone paying attention at the moment. Projects that bridge these gaps have the ability to scale to unprecedented levels. There is a huge, so there is a huge place for altcoin plays, but it's just really important for us to remember where the real money will be made. And if you have to bet, it's going to be in meme coins, but man, just be careful and make sure you have all your positions in place as soon as possible. That's what I'm doing. I just leveled up my Solana with my long, as I said yesterday, I use my long strategies when I know a token's going to pump or has a listing coming up or has a big team behind it. I will mention a token that I went into today in a minute that has a huge backing it's on Solana. Um, so whenever that happens, I use my longs once I make profit and I close out, I close out before, as soon as, as soon as I get gleamy eyed, as I was saying, that's when I close out, take my profits and I buy more on the open market, just directly of that token. So that's what I did today. I took the profits from dog with hat and I think I did it like a 20x on it on my long um and i bought more solana because solana is exploding so that said exciting times that said projects that bridge these gaps right between DeFi and tradify have the ability to scale to unprecedented levels whether they are providing infrastructure or doing what ondo is in regards to the tokenization of assets 700 million in market cap in a bull market is hilariously cheap. So it's your Solana, it's your Optimism, it's your Arbitrum. And there's a new one today I heard about called Superchain. It's about Link too, and your Link. Link in the past 30 days, 500% growth in fees, 41% in growth in TBLs, or total value locked, which is a good sign, right? Because that uh, reduces the circulating supply and increases the price. The demand is going up, the price may follow. So it's a good time to pop up on your link. I made notes for myself. I will also be doing this. And Miro, in terms of new good buys, okay? Miro is this adorable puppy that some are speculating. It's currently at 28 cents. Some are speculating that Miro is the new whiff. 
So if you feel like sad because you missed out on Whiff when it first came out, you didn't catch the wave, it's not too late. There's another one called Miro. So as you saw a moment ago, today has been quite bullish. The last seven days, look at that. But still it's only 0.28. So you're still in time. It may correct a little bit. I'm not a fortune teller, but even if it does, it's a good buy and some are speculating. Like I said, it could be the new whiff. So go check out Miro. See, it says, is Miro the next whiff that will do 510X over weeks? Finance just announced a perpetual listing for it at a 270 million market cap with fully supplied out plus tier one exchange listing. That's the combination you wanna look for, right? Later today, this seems undervalued to me relative to other memes on sexes. Not saying to ape in here when it's already up 80% from Binance Perps announcement, unless you're a DGEN, but in my opinion, it's a good idea to watch for a dip and perhaps buy on spot. So there you have it. And like I was mentioning earlier, Binance listed dog with hat today, pumped like crazy, and then it dropped. Thankfully, I bought out as soon as it started to drop amazing all right now this brings us to the end of the video and this is the conversation that's going on which is are we right now you know are we in the early stage bear market where bear market valuations are rising and make no sense mid stage valuations can't go higher and make no sense <laughs> late stage where the market is overheated and valuations make no sense or the bubble everything is overpriced and actually makes sense so take a screenshot of this, keep this in mind, remember, because as we go into the bull run, it gets crazy and you don't know what's up or down and you're just like, buy, 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 and forget to sell. But if you can remember the sentiment, you know, go to different, go to like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko and check out the greed index, you know, where are we? And just use that as your guide. As Willie Lou says, do you think we're in a bull market? We're not. This has been the warm up. So we're just getting started. It's like chess. You want to put all of your tokens, you want to put all of your players or your pieces in the right position, right? So I'm doing almost like, um, what am I doing? I think I'm doing like dividing my fund in like my, my funds or money into like maybe fours and into four and it's like degen, alts, what I trade, and Bitcoin. And I will be doing a talk with Kyle Chasse and a few other big crypto OGs to discuss all of this. So stay tuned. We're going to go through portfolio management and positioning. All of this to come back to a point Randuner was making earlier, which is based off of this gentleman's Twitter. I imagine it's a man because almost everyone's a man in crypto. And it comes down to this Pareto principle, which is that 80% of the money made in the last 20% of the cycle. So if cycles last about 18 months, which is what they last on average, and we are in the warm up phase, that means just do the math. It's we're probably at like end of year, October, November, December time, but this is a super cycle. So we don't know exactly how it's gonna play out. But we're, it's your real gains as we saw a moment ago. You know, when we're going into the bubble, the late stage of the bubble, that's where the money is really made. So just remember that all the time. Okay, that's when the money's gonna get really wild. That's when you wanna be taking profits. It's not just what's on the chart, it's what you pay yourself. And regardless, you want your money in the market. Don't keep it in USDT or in your bank. Move it into Bitcoin. And then take a little bit of that time when it pumps, buy some DJ, buy some altcoins that are gonna actually have an impact. And follow me, I will keep you guys up to date. But all right, guys, that brings me to the end of today's video. It was fast and furious, but I just wanted to bring you what's going on. To summarize, it's all about meme coins. Pepe, Bonk, it's Whiff, oh my gosh, at the top of the list. Wait, this is a good time now that it's dipping to buy some more. Take, Keep an eye out for Miro, M-Y-R-O, okay? Cats are coming up next. That's where a lot of speculation is at. AI tokens, all right? And in terms of layer ones, making a difference and with true potential to be the next Facebook's Microsoft's of the world that you can invest in now. Buy some Solana, some Chainlink, Arbitrum, Optimism, Zeta Chain, Bitensor because of AI. 
okay this is where you put your money all right guys be good be safe and i will be back tomorrow ciao